G'day, I'm Mad Matt. One of the things a lot of us wheelers do is we run two sets of tyres. We'll run an all-terrain tyre and a mud tyre. We'll use the all-terrain tyres for our daily driving, going on a touring trip, that sort of thing. Then we'll use a mud tyre for when we want to go and hit the hard stuff, get into some good rocks or mud, etc. I've got a couple of trips coming up and I'm going to get into some of the gnarlier stuff. So today I'm changing my wheels over and I thought you guys might appreciate picking up some of the tips and tricks I've done. First, we've got to loosen the wheel nuts. So once you've got the wheel nuts cracked, have a look in your handbook and find out where the jacking points are on your vehicle. And once you know where they are, get your jack and jack away. Now to change a tyre of the same size, you only got to get it an inch or so off the ground. So once you've got the car jacked up, you could put a safety stand under there, but because I'm not going under the vehicle at all, I'm not going to worry about that today. Next thing is to get all the wheel nuts off. Now you'll notice that I'm doing them in a cross pattern. It's just a good habit to be in whenever you're loosening or tightening wheel nuts. Do them in a cross pattern, so whoa, drop the brake about it. So you do one over there, then you do the opposite nut, etc. I always chuck my nuts, <laughs> not those nuts, um, in a pile all together. Because in case you kick them or whatever, you, well, you don't want to do that. So if they're all together, you're not losing the nuts, and, you know, all of that sort of thing. On my truck, it actually comes with a really cool nut, this nut holding device. I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so that's all the nuts off. A nut holder. See? Chuck them in there. Beautiful. Alright. Then your wheel can come off. Just like that. Now something I do, once I get my wheels off, I'm basically going to do a rotation for next time these tyres go back on. So I do myself a little label, left front. I stick it on that tyre. I'll do that to all the tyres. When it comes to putting these back on, I'll be able to put this on the left rear and put the left rear on here. I've basically done a rotation while changing my wheels. It's pretty cool, eh? Now while I've got the wheel off, I like to do a very quick little mechanical check. First thing I do, just make sure that the, the wheel mating surface is clean, there's no mud and stuff like that in there. I then have a look at my brake shoes, just get an idea of how much brake I got left on, the, on those pads. Next thing, I just check the wheel bearings. Take the hub back and forth, I'm feeling for any play or grindy feeling, tell me if I've got a problem there. Next thing, I just look at the general equipment that's inside here, tie rod ends, brake lines, shock absorbers. I'm just looking for any indications that something might be wrong. I can address it before I go wheeling. Now once I'm ready to put the new wheel back on, I like to put a little dab of grease on the threads. And that's because I'm always going in water and mud and all that. I don't want the threads to get start picking up. You only need a tiny little dab of grease on there. I'm using a, a LMM grease. It's, a, it's just a, a product that's got a bit of graphite and molybdenum disulfide in it. That'll just make sure those nuts are nice and slippery. Now I'm ready to put the new the new wheel back on. Before I do, just give that mating surface a quick wipe. Make sure there's no mud or dirt on there. Then the heavy bit. Now I lift the base of the tyre in and I like to get down and I like to use my elbows on my knees to create a fulcrum so I can lift the wheel without straining my back up in there like that and on she goes so your elbows resting on there then when you're lifting with your arms like that all the weight's going through your legs it doesn't hurt your back just put them on a couple of threads to start with because you've got to put your nut holder back on there in place before you do the nuts up I've done it before and then you've got to take your wheel off again. It's very annoying. That's on my car anyway. Yours is probably different. Once you get to that point, 
where the nuts are all started. Start tightening them up. Again, we're going to tighten them full tightness once we actually let the jack down. Remember earlier I said about cross tightening? So you watch the sequence that I'm tightening them up in and you'll see what I'm, I'm talking about. So I'm going to do the bottom one now, down here. Then I'll do this next top one. So I'm just nipping them up at the moment. There we go. Make sure my nut holder's back on properly. They're all nipped up. Now we let the jack down. A couple of things as we finish off. Make sure that you chock the wheels, put the handbrake on, leave the vehicle in gear or in park. And if you've got the vehicle jacked up and you need to go under the vehicle for any reason at all, make sure that you use a safety stand. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails.